Hi and welcome to another video in the RHCSA video series. Today's video is on create, delete and modify local groups and group memberships. So essentially we're going to add, uh, create a new group, we're going to add users to groups and we're going to remove users, that sort of thing. So it's um, a relatively quick one today. As always, easiest to be ready sudo so let's do first a group addition so as we did previous video let's just do a group add and give it a name so i'll just do group add it so it's the it group uh, we can actually give it a specific uh, guid or a gid sorry uh, or group id so we can just use the minus g to specify that so group add minus g just give it a number, say, and we just do it2. So then we, that group would have that group number, so cat, etc. group and grep it. And we can see this is it's uh, g group id, and this is um, it2s, and we've got the specific number we've given. So, yep, that's that if you want to do that. Um, to delete a group, we just use the group del and then the name of the group and I'll delete the group quite nicely. Uh, to update um, a current group's name, uh, say if you need to rename for whatever reason, um, it's quite easy, just use the group mod. So it's very similar, user mod, group mod, you've got similar things haven't you? So You've got user, user add, group add, uh, group del, user del. So it's all, if you see, it's kind of a familiar pattern going on there. So group mod minus n. So to rename it, so current, so the new name you want to name it as, and then the existing group. And then if we do the same cat, uh, etc., group, and then rep for IT, we now have IT support. Great, that was pretty simple. Um, you can also do the same for um, updating the um, group ID. So we just do a G group mod minus G for group ID. The new group ID you want to give it, uh, so let's do 3033, and then just give it the group. We can just do again the crap, and we've got yeah, this the group ID has been updated. Easy as. Okay, so um, the next thing is uh, say if you're given permissions to a particular user, uh, you want to give users particular permission to a particular directory or something like that, you may assign it to a group, so then you can give. Um, a group of users permissions to a, write to a directory for example so you'd need to actually add that user to the individual group uh, obviously it's not ideal to have it as their primary group because um, you may want to be able to manage that at a later point so if you add it to their primary group you can't really manage what group they're in that's a kind of a static group so what you can do is add it as a secondary group to, to the user so to do that is user mod or user modify minus a to add and then G for group, the group name, and user one. So user one's user, obviously. And if we do the same grep, we can see now user one is a member of that group. It is that if you use it without the uh, minus A, and if you just specify minus G, you're going to just specify what groups the user is actually a member of. So you can actually manage the entire group. Um, chain if you wanted to, you can use commas to have multiple groups listed. Um, so if we wanted to perhaps um, list the group memberships, so that's group and then mems, group membership, and then minus L for list, minus G for the group name, and then obviously the group name. And we can see that user one is a current member of the IT support group. To remove that, we just use the GPASWD. Uh, don't ask me why it is 
Greek password. <laughs> it doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but it's the only way uh, I could I can ever find to actually remove a user from a group. Um, so if any of you guys do know a different way, uh, please comment down below. That'd be awesome. But yeah, I choose group G password or G pass WD minus D for delete the username and then the group. And it removes it from the group. And if we do that group members again, we can see it's no longer a member. And we can also do the cat and we can see the users actually been removed. That is pretty much all we want to cover in that particular section. As you can see, it's really straightforward. Um, so the main commands were the, uh, the group commands. So if we just do group tab uh, dash dash, uh, if you do group and um, tab tab, you can actually see all the group commands. So we've got group add, we just used to add a new group, group del to delete a group, group membership to list the group memberships and then group mod to modify the groups and then finally you got the g pass wd okay as always they'll have man pages for these um, commands so yeah just look it up in the man pages if you cannot remember the exact switch as as i know it's very very difficult to remember all the different switches of all these commands uh, but as you can see there's a lot of patterns like minus d generally mine is delete Minus L is generally list. Um, A's, minus A's add, that sort of thing you see. Um, but yeah, you just try and remember them if you can. I'll just pop on the screen now my details. So they've got the Kofi page. Uh, if you're interested in um, dropping me a donation, it'll be much appreciated. Uh, you've got my CSG merchandise page on the Tee Public. Uh, and then finally, I've put the Discord details for Discord channel to you guys can just fly questions at me and I'll try and answer them uh, as we go along uh, no problem at all so thank you guys for watching obviously please like and subscribe uh, keep it going we're trying to reach uh, 1k uh, subscribers so we, we're nearly there um, it's much appreciated uh, you guys subscribing uh, if you haven't already please do uh, the next video to follow after this is configuring super user access so that'll be giving users uh, pseudo access and what we can configure around that. So you can do lots of configuration options around that. We can put, permit only certain commands or only from certain machines they can connect and that sort of thing. Uh, it's actually quite granular, but we can um, run through that in the next video to follow. So um, catch the next video. Um, thanks for watching again, and please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks.